to get people riled up. Talk about abortion. Talk about a politically charged subject. Pro-choice, pro-life, what does that mean? You know, something that really gets people's attention, and some people get really bent out of shape over it. Well, my name is Troy Beans with 78freethrows.com. I taught school for 20 years. For 17 of those years, I taught a government class, and I thoroughly enjoyed teaching that class. All the different discussions and ideas and things that would come up, and, and we would discuss abortion. It, it'd come up every year, and, and I'd say for a lot of years, there was a lot of very strong, aggressive, conversations about abortion that I not I was very much in the middle of and very much a part of. But as time went on, I started to think about what's the point to be so dogmatic one way or the other? Is that really helping anybody here? And what really got my attention is when I started to think, what, what would I feel like if I was a girl in my class and I'd had an abortion, would I feel safe? Would I feel comfortable? Would I feel okay in that classroom? And I admit the answer was probably a resounding no. So over time, I, I changed the way I talked about abortion. I didn't change my stance on abortion, but I, I, I softened the way I dealt with it. And I started to think, what would I say a young lady in my classroom who'd had an abortion. So if you have had an abortion, this is what I would like to say to you. What I'd like to say to you is, you and I are exactly the same. There is no difference between you and I. You've done something you probably wish you hadn't. I've certainly done things I wish I hadn't have done. We're in the same boat. We are sinners. We have done things we shouldn't do. But we are loved by God. That's amazing. That's powerful. But we're the same. How can I condemn you when I'm already condemned by my own actions? I have no right to do that. When you think about it, someone acting in the name of Christianity, someone saying that they know God, who's being anything but loving and kind and being very judgmental, probably destroys more people's Christian faith than the devil ever could. And yet on the flip side of that, We've all done stuff wrong, and the devil works really hard to just keep beating us up. Oh yeah, I'm not good enough. I, I've done this, I've done The Lord would never accept me. The Lord can't. I, I'm too big of a sinner. What person who hasn't thought that? If you're the young, for you, the young ladies had an abortion, you and I are exactly the same. We sit side by side. And the beautiful thing, we can have peace in this ugly, ugly world. We can have peace knowing we are forgiven. That God loves us completely. That we can choose to follow Him. Don't have to, but we can choose to follow Him. And when we follow Him, his actions, his dying on the cross, made us good enough. You, young lady, or any lady who's had an abortion, you're good enough. You're more than good enough, as am I. We're the same. I can't judge you. Please don't judge me. We can look to Jesus. He forgives us and he saves us. That's powerful. That's amazing. And finally, John 3.16. Believe in Jesus and you will be saved. doesn't say 
believe in Jesus and make sure you never do any of these things, or if you've done that thing, it doesn't say any of those things. It just says, believe, and you will be saved. You are loved. You are just like 